Hi, I am Sandy Gentry from the Sandy Gentry Team Relax Lakeshore. I want to introduce you today to the Coco Cottage. This is a historic home that was completely renovated and restored that is currently being operated as a bed and breakfast and it's located downtown Whitehall. I want to show you why people come from all over to enjoy this bed and breakfast. Let's take a look. I am with the owners of this beautiful historical home and bed and breakfast, the Coco Cottage. And I just want them to share how they came up with this toy. Well, it really kind of all fell into place for us. I mean, it was a, a childhood dream of mine to have um, a big old beautiful house on or along Lake Michigan. And um, when we found the house, um, we, it really was love at first sight. It did not look like this. It didn't look like this at all. I mean, it was in very serious disrepair. Um, we spent 10 years very lovingly, um, historically, um, restoring the home back to its original splendor. And brought the warmth. And, and, and we did. I mean, we, um, there's, there's nothing in this house that we haven't touched from all of the, the staining and the stripping of the original trim to the fireplaces to the floors. Um, we did add bathrooms with our dream of having it be a bed and breakfast. Um, one bathroom wouldn't have cut it. <laughs> and so we, we did figure out very creative ways to put bathrooms in all the rooms. Um, and the guests love them. And, um, and then, of course, um, Larry's a fabulous chef, so we, we really upgraded the kitchen, so it's a wonderful gourmet kitchen. And um, So there were things that we did to the house to bring it to modern day standards, um, but we didn't want to lose that historical charm and, and, and the beauty. And, and we, we wanted it to be historically and architecturally accurate. And as a guest told us one time that um, the house is beautiful, you feel like you're walking in a museum, but you're not afraid to sit on the furniture. And that's exactly what the vision was. Um, for me personally, uh, I, I'm an artist and a designer, and so every detail mattered to me. It still matters to me. And you can see it. Thank you. Very lovely. And, um, I saw this in my mind's eye um, for 10 years. We, we worked on this house for 10 years. Um, you know, all our vacations were spent working in the house. All our bonus monies were spent working on the house. I mean, we, we loved it. It was a huge project. But I saw it in my mind finished for all that time that we worked on it. And the first few years that, years that we lived here, I literally felt like I was living in a dream. And, and that's, that's what it's been. And, um, and our guests share a lot of those same feelings and emotions. They walk in, they love the warmth of the house. Um, you know, they, they feel our passion as innkeepers. And um, we really believe that this house has um, a very kind, loving, affectionate soul. And our philosophy of the bed and breakfast and in our life is to, you know, kind of rest, relax, and restore, and, and we'd like to take care of other people. And, and one of the things that we do that really add to the specialness of the house is um, the food that we serve. That's Larry's strength, and uh, we've won many awards over the years for the food. Um, food, breakfast is a big part of the name, it. bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, homemade granola <laughs> and homemade chocolate. Homemade, yes, <laughs> and chocolate is our theme, that's absolutely. Um, but you want to talk a little bit about your philosophies on food? And... Yeah, we always try to find the very best uh, product and ingredients to put into our, our recipes and our menus. We spend hours and hours and hours developing uh, the menus that we serve, the dishes that we serve. We eat a lot of breakfast for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've, we've gone, found over the years that um, the first thing people talk about is the house. The second thing they talk about is how good the food was. Yeah. Uh, they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. All of our best books in the rooms, mm -hmm. people rave about the right. decor, people rave about the warmth of the house, right. people rave about the food. I can't wait to come back to try something new. I, we love this breakfast. We, 
The food was always fabulous. And that's one of the things that gives us a lot of joy. Uh, we like that. But we've come to a, a, a point where I would like to turn this over to someone else, show them what's, how easy it is, what's you available. Get to learn the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> the secret recipes. The secrets come with the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's something that we have a passion for. Anybody who likes food would be able to come in and do what we do. And likes people. With our That's experience. all you have to be, people lovers, and you get to learn all these secret recipes. Well, and we're very fortunate with where we live. This is a fabulous agricultural area. And so in the summertime, we're always featuring like the fresh asparagus from our asparagus fields just up the road, or the peaches and the apples. I mean, it's, it's we have a farmer's market within walking distance. So, farm to um, table. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, the original definition of farm to table. Yeah, so, exactly. so that has really um, influenced and guided a lot of the recipes that we make seasonally. And, yeah. and you know, farmers markets are great gathering places and very social. And it's just a lovely little community, very walkable community. Well, so. this is great. It's been so good to um, actually just hear from you what what makes this so special. So you've done a great job. Well, thank you very sure. much. And we cannot wait <clears throat> to uh, find the new owners of this beautiful home or uh, to be the new owners for the bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm.